what does mastering the offense look like to you? Will says you're you're getting there. Yeah, uh, just full command, um, feeling really good and being super decisive in, in decision making. Um, you know, I feel like in, in the spring, you know, there was a, a part of it just kind of learning uh, the language and the ins and out of the offense. But I think now it's executing at a high level, you know, uh, getting protected. And then, of course, coverage ID so you can just uh, be even more clear on, on what you want to do with the football. So um, it's important. Uh, you know, I, I touch the ball every single play. So, um, you know what, you know, a guy, a guy doing that, there's got to be trust, belief, and in, um, in, in every decision I make. So, broad question: What are your impressions of the first week or so of fall camp? What stands out? Just a lot of competition. You know, I think, uh, like I said, in spring, that's my, uh, you know, comparison. I guess you could say to a, a camp. But um, just from spring to to now, it's everyone's running around knowing exactly what to do. Um, and now it's just competition, you know? So uh, the best ones compete at a high level and there's been a lot of guys out there doing that. So uh, it's still early, first week, and you know, we still got, you know, a lot coming up. So um, just continue to do that stack days so that, uh, you know, we come to, you know, scrimmages and uh, kind of more of those team periods. Uh, there's the best amount of work we can get. And we hear from a couple of transfers like yourself about how it's different here. All right, and those, that was Derek and Brandon who weren't here necessarily in the spring, so you yeah. had that, but all right, but this is your third school, so yeah. so what's different? What is different here compared to Oklahoma, compared to UCF, and what makes this different? Yeah, I just think it's unique to this year um, in, in terms of, you know, talent, um, but also, you know, the way we run things, I think is, is definitely different than I'm used to. Um, and that's definitely, you know, me being my freshman year 2019, there's definitely been a lot of rule changes as well. So um, I think, you know, the main difference is we maximize our, our time as much as we can. And, you know, if we got, you know, this time to that time, you know, we're going we're gonna to be there and we're going to be very intentional with that. So um, I think everyone gets the same amount of time and uh, does similar, you know, things and, and lifts and practices and uh, team runs and stuff like that. But I think what you do in that and how you do it is, is extremely important, and I think, you know, we do a good job maximizing that. You talk about competition. How have the guys in your room pushed you to be better? I mean, everyone seems to be better. Yeah, I think just comp competition in general. You know, I've been the young guy where I'm competing about older dudes. It's a five star, and I, I've been, uh, you know, in the middle of the pack in, in my career. That's also had a five star backup, and then continuing again. So, five star, four star, whatever, three star. I think. Even a walk on, like, you know, when you get into these environments, um, you got to be on your P's and Q's, you know, in your meeting room, uh, who can answer the questions the quickest. Um, and, you know, Brock Thomas is a guy who's really smart and uh, soft spoken, but knows answers. And I think we all push each other um, in every area of the field. And you go on the field and everyone can make every single throw. Um, um, but we just continue to push each other uh, on consistency. and. Um, like I said, it's it's something I'm very used to um, and love uh, because you know, it's it's everyone just trying to make each other better, and, and that's what the team is for. Um, so, just like they do with me, I, I try to do for them, and and uh, so forth. So, what's it been like over the past few months? Basically, having a documentary crew follow you around with this stuff. Um, shoot, I I'd say we don't notice it as much because of how much cameras are around. Um, at least as I've gotten older, I feel like more and more cameras I've gotten around. So it's just what you're used to. Um, and then in the, sorry, in the spirit of the moment, you know, in practice, you don't see any of that. I, I think you notice more um, you're getting called for interviews and, and stuff like that. But um, I think it's necessary. It's super cool and documenting, you know, each year, shoot, you never know how it's going to end. So you might as well be a part of it, you know. Where have you seen Dante and Austin maybe make most progress in spring? Yeah, I think just getting older and, and having experience in camps and uh, here in the offense uh, and, and being coached by uh, the same coach. I think you know, as a guy who's transferred to three schools and uh, have had a bunch of coaches, uh, consistency is, is huge. And having uh, kind of a set routine that you can build with someone, um, I think you just get better within that. Um, and you don't have to reset your clock again and, and learning something new or so I, I just think 
for them too and shoot me as well just the experience with everyone um and the more reps you get um the better so i think you look at everyone it's it's mentally it's physically um i, I think you just see a more experienced version more seasoned version i guess you could say we talked five weeks ago back in louisiana about you and poncho getting that snaps down and putting yeah. more time here so all right now that full pads are on yep how much more confident do you feel about that today and, and how much more has to get ironed out to yeah, we stop talking about this? Yeah, I've, I've never felt, uh, I've never questioned that one bit. I think uh, we do a great job of uh, getting those QB center exchanges. And yeah, I, shoot, I haven't noticed it one bit. I, I think it's when you talk about it too much, then you make it uh, an issue or make something simple harder, which I think we, we overcomplicate a lot of things. And, just in life in general. So um, it's reps. I think reps experience of it. And this is a guy who's just played center January 3rd was the bowl game, second? First, January 1st. So, you know, and he's a freshman, but all this to say, you know, he's had seven, eight months of it. Um, and uh, three, four months from the spring game, the, the dude's evolved and he's gotten a lot better. and. I think more than anything for Poncho, he's just stepped up in protections and being super decisive with his calls. So I think that all helps and, and comes and intertwines into uh, just being able to execute his job cold. We've been hearing a lot of hype about Kenyon Sadiq from players and coaches alike. What have yep. you seen from him both this spring, from spring to now and in fall camp? Yeah, I mean, he's probably been the most consistent dude, I would say. Uh, and, you know, athletically, he, he can do a bunch, um, but that I think limits you know the type of person he is and how humble and soft-spoken yet just a ultimate competitor um so i think when you get that combination of, of a person uh he's extremely talented um he's made a bunch of plays as well and been in the right spot so i think that's why i say you know athletically he can do a lot but him putting himself in the position to make those plays um is a whole nother thing so um i, I think the world of him i think the world of the the tight friends um room but uh, yeah, they're solid and been having a, a great camp. What are you trying to get out of this first scrimmage? You can all these this couple of false scrimmages for that matter. Like, what, what are you going to feel happy about on Saturday night when you're looking back at the film these upcoming weekends? If you feel like you've accomplished something, you've improved, you've developed. What is, what's it going to take? Yeah, just execution at a high level. Um, you know, being really good, not to coach speak because I'm a player, but third downs, efficiency. You know, you can't emphasize that, emphasize that enough in the red area, scoring a bunch um, and just moving forward, you know, not not taking negative plays, sacks, um, definitely no turnovers. So I, I think executing a high level and uh, being able to watch the film and be like, that's a, a clear, decisive decision um, to the right person. So um, that's what I think will be a successful scrimmage practice.